How is everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we're here for Shiver 3 Moonlight Grove. As you can tell from the opening cutscene there, it looks like we have babies and dead wolves and babies with yellow eyes. That, to me, means we're in for a werewolf experience, so that's different than the first two games. Now, if I kind of click on the more info here, you've got the first Shiver game, uh, which was really neat. Sorry, the first one is Vanishing Hitchhiker, second one was Poltergeist, and I've actually recorded both of these on the channel, so if you haven't watched either one of these, I suggest you watch them both. They're not story related, but uh, they definitely both kind of have uh, similar game mechanics, and I have thought they were both fabulous games. So anyways, links for both of those playlists will be down in the description down below. What else can I say? Well, this is the collector's edition, which means that it has extra content, like concept art, uh, has a strategy guide, which I typically don't use, except for maybe in the bonus chapter. It has wallpapers. Hmm. I don't really ever use these either. And then it has unlockable hidden object scenes, which is kind of clever. That is pretty much going to be the intro for this game. I have been waiting for this game for weeks. I've actually put off recording other things because I've been waiting for this to come out. It is something that I truly, truly am looking forward to. Having said that, this is the collector's edition, so you can look forward to the bonus chapter at the very end. And we should begin playing the game now. Uh, let's see, we're gonna play on casual as I always do. Oh, cutscene. Shh. Just be over here drinking my coffee. I'm on a horse. Nice point of view. It's been four years since my stepfather mysteriously disappeared. Some say he was attacked by wolves, but I don't believe it. He found me as a baby, and very ill. He nursed me back to health. He raised me as his own, and I owe everything to him. Aww, I'm a doctor now. Full moon indeed. I'm here to follow in Renee's footsteps. Busted. Why would you do that? Oh, he actually shot the wolf. Okay, that I did not expect. Oh no, he's just limping off. Okay. Good. Sort of. Well, good that he's not dead. Would you like some help? I would love some help. Uh, some objects are located inside other objects or locations. When the cursor changes to an eye, you can take a closer look. With When the cursor changes to a hand, you can interact with it. Well done, you found a footboard. This is your inventory. The lock button toggles between visible and minimized. When you have more items, you can show... That can be shown at one time. Uh, okay. I actually do appreciate the locking inventory. Alright, so it looks like we've got something here. Uh, what a knot! Now, what would Alexander the Great do? Okay. This is your hint button. Okay, like, would you mind talking here? Don't hesitate to use it if you don't know what to do. Once you use it, however, you must wait for it to recharge. Alright, let's just do something really quickly here. I thought I balanced it. It's funny, right? Like, I always tweak the music, I always tweak the. I always have to tweak this every time I play a game, but anyways, we'll just go with that for now. What else do we have over here? When the cursor changes to gear, do you have to use something with the object? Draw your inventory items. Oh, we're just going to break that lock off there. It wasn't very secure, clearly. Found a casket. That's not too creepy. You found 
special inventory item, which is marked by a frame with an eye. You can apply it to another object, but you can select it to examine it more closely to solve the puzzle. When the cursor changes to a circling arrows, you can turn the object by dragging it. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, so we need a code here, clearly. Yeah, we don't have to code. What else is in here? What's like this? Alcohol, tweezers, and a letter. The Da Vinci letter. By order of the town council, I'm pleased to offer you the position of district doctor. A title previously held by your foster father, René Malo. The post has sat vacant since his disappearance several months prior. Uh, I can't pull the wrench pin out of my hand. Okay, so I can't get the wheel. Let's go ahead and take our diary. Fabulous. Open it. Thank goodness I didn't lose my diary during the crash. And a metal box. You can wander many places when the cursor changes to an arrow. You can move in the indicated direction. I guess that's a hint to get the flock out of here. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, he's like... He or she is licking her wounds, or his wounds. God, this this looks gorgeous to me. Like, very well done. That's the same wolf that attacked me. Alright, let's get some stuff out of the way. We found some brush. A skull. Something else is flickering here. Oh. It seemed more clever in my mind. Oh, aren't you a uh, sarcastic person? Perfumed oil. Okay. Also, oh, this must be the strategy guide. Okay, cool. We won't be using that. I don't think. I, uh, what I tend to do when I have c collector's editions with the strategy guides is I typically play around with them in the bonus chapter. That's just the way I do it. Okay, so let's go over here. It's rusted, but a bit of oil will help. Splash that on there nicely. Alright, so we still need a key of some sort. I have to pick the lock. I don't know if tweezers would work. No, okay. Ooh, it's a lamp! We want this! We have to unscrew it first. Shard glass, sure. Alright, so that is what is common amongst the first two Shiver games, is the game mechanic of a lamp. So I'm looking forward to getting that lamp. And also, for those of you that aren't familiar with my channel, I do play three or four casual games a month. So if these are kind of the games that you enjoy, you might want to hit the subscribe button. Also keep in mind that I do weekly betas, where I will play the first 20 to 30 minutes of a game that hasn't been released yet and that actually is what I did with Shiver 3 uh, several months ago I think back in March I played the beta uh, just to kind of get a sense of if I might like it or not so that's always a nice thing to do I typically play uh, one beta a week there's always there's plenty of betas that are out there but I tend to pick and choose the ones that I like so enough of that uh so I have played this section before, but it was two months ago, and that kind of means I don't remember much, to be completely honest. Oh, something's floating by here. We'll have a look at that. Yesterday evening, villager spotted Albert fleeing the forest. He shouted that he had found the real spirit of the forest. He described the creature as being seven feet tall and walking on two legs like a man. All he had for evidence was a tuft of fur which hunters identified as ordinary wolf fur. Really then, so ordinary wolf fur, ordinary wolf fur, fur? I don't know if we can just cut this maybe with our shard. Come on. Yep. Go ahead and take that. We have reins. So, I don't know if tweezers would work maybe. Stronger with more leverage, like a bone? No. We need to get this wheel off, that is a guarantee. I'm not sure what else we can do here. Let's go this way. Uh, go this way. What do 
we need rains for? So I actually, I'm pretty sure we need this to lower the the dam here. Yeah, the wheel's missing. We're gonna use the wheel from our broken carriage. All right, let's tell. Let's see what the hint tells us what to do. Oh, I keep forgetting we have these things. Aha! This is a puzzle! Yes, I know it's a puzzle. So we're going to be doing the Da Vinci Man. There he is. I think. Do, do, do. He looks like a snow angel. So this has got to be straight. And then this has to be straight down. Nope. Oh. Do this one. Bingo! Alright, so now we have the Catechus chip. And we have a syringe needle. Alright, well, let's look at the skull here, too. Tweezers on here. Rethink my strategy. That was a legit strategy. Syringe needle? What a bone. Huh. Alright. Let's go see if we can use the syringe needle. I'm not sure why that's better than tweezers, but whatever. Nope, it's not. Uh, so, what am I missing here? Oh, I keep forgetting that we use these as lockpicks, do we? Oh, this is actually a puzzle, is it? What am I doing here? Oh. Why do I not remember this? <laughs> I don't remember this part. Lock picking here. This is definitely very different. Come on, get in there. You would have thought I would have remembered this, but... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we're in business. Let's go ahead and uh, continue here. Those darn rats managed to break the trap door, so now the only way to open it is to bust it open. Too bad I can't have cat. Cats smell me coming and go crazy, so why is this guy being sniffed by cats? That's what I want to know. No? Alright, so what do we have here then? I have to pull out the nails to remove the hinge. No, it's got to be something different. It's too heavy. I better lighten it first with cutting it. Yeah, there we go. Now we have an empty bag and we have some nippers. Okay, we should probably be able to pull these nails out with the tongs. There we go. One, two, and I guess one more. I like the music in the back. That's nice. We have a hinge. And a stone. A millstone. It's heavy, but I could lift it if I'm careful. I don't know what I would need to do to lift it. With the reins, maybe? No. Tweezers. No. Rethink my strategy. The bag is always useful. Is it? I don't know about always useful. Tongs are probably going to be good for getting this linchpin out. I think that's what you call it. There we go. Linchpin gone. Wheel gone. The papa. Broken wheel. That's going to help us get past the water over here. We'll lower it. When the cursor changes to circling aerials, you can turn the object by driving, dragging it clockwise. I think we knew that, right? I have to wedge it with something. The hinge? Or the bone? So I feel it feels a little sloppy here, the controls. Yeah. I don't know if it's the do I have to put the linchpin back? Or do I rock it? Weird. Okay. 
Need a piece of wood or something. A wedge. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in here. Maybe we can use the rock on here. Bust this open. Nope. To be more clever than that. I actually thought that was pretty darn clever. Put the stone in here? No. What else am I supposed to be breaking? Weird. I don't know what I'm... Maybe I'm supposed to break this with a stone. Yeah, okay, got it. That's kind of... a little unusual. Arrowhead. Is that our witch? Maybe that's our witch. Yep. Uh, we need... What? I just... There we go. Watch it go away. Now we can walk this way. 